Welcome to Black History 365 The Throwdown, a series where I explain, educate, and explore historical events on some black figures in world history and recount the struggles and triumphs of black people worldwide. I'm your host, Yusuf Fursi, and in this episode, I'll be presenting the story of Amina, the warrior queen of Zaria, first woman to rule an African kingdom for over 30 years in the 16th century. Queen Amina of Zaria, also known as the warrior queen was the first woman who ruled an African kingdom for over 30 years in the 16th century. She was the first Sari Unia, which translates into queen in the area. Amino was born around 1533 in Zazua, now called Zaria, in the northern part of Nigeria. She was the daughter of the 22nd leader and founder of the Zazua kingdom in 1536. Bakwa Turunku. She was the oldest of three kids. Her younger sister was called Zaria and her younger brother was named Karama. The Zazua kingdom was a peaceful one and her family obtained their wealth through trade of leather goods, cloth, cola, salt, different metals, and horses. At a very young age, her grandfather discovered her talent and skills for leadership. He allowed her to attend state meetings and gave her all the necessary knowledge she needed to have in order to become a great leader. A few years later, at the age of 16, she became the heir apparent to her mother. After the death of her parents in 1566, her brother, Karama, became the ruling king. At that time, Amina was excellent with her military skills that allowed her to be the leading warrior of the Zazua cavalry. She accumulated several military accolades and managed to assure respect from the Zazua military. So it was to no surprise that she became the queen of Zazua after her brother died 10 years after he became king. Three months after becoming the queen of Zazua, she set off on her first military expedition. She continued to expand the domain of Zazua to its largest size ever. This way, she could remove all obstacles that hindered the direct access to the Atlantic coast, which was an important element for local trade. She ensured safe passages for the Hashua traders and throughout the Sahara region. It is also believed that she introduced the first metal armor and helmet to the Zazua military. Amino was also the one who helped build the walls that surrounded the city. These walls were not only a political statement of wealth and power, but also used for as a military strategy against um, attacks that could come to the kingdom. It was her idea to build military encampments behind the 15 kilometer wall, now known as Ganuwar Amina, or just translates to Amina's wall. Ever since then, more walls have been built and have been used as a protective shield for small villages and cities. They are all called Amina's walls, even though some of them were established after she passed away. Queen Amina of Zaria died 34 years later and became the first woman to rule an African kingdom. She's still remembered as the brave, smart, and talented leader. In honor of her accomplishments, a statue of her name was built and placed in the National Arts Theater in Nigeria, and many educational institutions bear her name. And this concludes this episode. For more information on this podcast, you can check out my blog set at realfreeflowingwords.blog and click on the tab Black History 365 for my written blog posts on previous episodes. The show is made possible by Anchor, which is providing a great and easy-to-use service for new and seasoned podcasters. If you enjoy learning something new from the show, then make sure to subscribe on Spotify or whichever platforms you listen to your podcasts on. By doing this, you'll stay up to date with my future episodes. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday and Friday for new episodes. Remember that black history should be learned about and celebrated every day, and not just 28 days. So stay educated, and thank you for listening. 
I'm your host, Yusuf Fursi. And until the next episode, peace.